Hey guys, so it's Monday. We had the ranch owners on this canyon ranch place um, text us this morning and I got a picture here of some hog damage behind one of the dwellings up here. So same area where we had uh, hog damage before, before they hit basically all the buildings around all the way up to the foundation of the house. Um, in this case, I think it's behind a log cabin or something up there, but um, rooted up quite a bit. Uh, we think it's the same group we see um, right on the feeder. That's a smaller group, maybe 10 pigs, one and a half years to two years old. They're not the biggest, but big enough to uh, cause some damage up here. And, and we think the same same group. Usually see them in the feeder for maybe 20 minutes or so, and then they move on. And uh, I'm guessing they move on to these, these buildings. But uh, it is 7.42. Uh, they usually hit this feeder around 9 o'clock, so we're going to load up the can m now uh, we have some corn we're gonna put some corn out uh, around the feeder maybe to uh, attract them to that place a little longer and then we have a bigger lake or pond um, further up uh, up in the, the elevation of this place um, where this is you know would be a good opportunity right now it's I think 90 degrees uh, we have some overcast it's not as hot but still those hogs need to cool off they need a uh, so source of water so they're gonna hit this lake as well um, so those are the spots you want to hit tonight. Uh, we're going to load up the Can-Am, have the thermal camera on top. We're going to post up next to the feeder for now. Wait until 9 o'clock comes through. Maybe wait through maybe 10 o'clock. Tomorrow is a school day for us, meaning back to work. Uh, so we won't be able to make it a super long night, but I hope we, we get some pigs in front of the rifles. Uh, Chris behind the camera, he's, he'll be shooting his 300 Blackout build uh, on top with my former ATN uh, Thor G640, it's a 25 by 25 uh, I'm shooting the CMMG Banji 200 Mark III, it's an uh, AR-10 pistol, uh, so shooting 308. and um, just last weekend I put a 275 pound bow on the ground with that in one shot, he just basically dropped uh, and rolled over and uh, I'm liking that 308. Mm -hmm. Obviously, shot this before, so uh, I kind of knew what I was getting myself into. But I'm glad that I have a, a, a AR-10 platform now, which doesn't feel like you have a giant rock hanging around your neck. It's uh, it's fairly lightweight. Still have to put it on the on the scale, especially now with the Thor 4 on top and everything. And the um, the uh, CMG Def Can. It's a Def Can TI. It's a uh, titanium can. But uh, everything together, I need to weigh it and then uh, see where we are clocking in. But um, Good setup, uh, needs some tweaking. I think it's a little overgassed, which causes right now um, some jams. So I need to look into adding, adding an adjustable gas block, but then I think this will be a very, very reliable and very uh, well performing rifle. Um, so let's see what it does tonight, and hopefully, we see some picks. See you in a little bit. set the spy point app to send pictures immediately on uh, motion detection if I have a good enough signal right now. There we go. Cellular setup, transfer frequency, right now I set it 12 times a day. That's a solar, link solar, so it you know, has plenty of power, I'm gonna do each detection changes and then with the next cycle which would be at 10, 10 o'clock it takes that setting but I'm gonna restart the camera once we get there just turn it off and on again and it's gonna get the new settings and send me pictures of niche detection.
This is not the Kenai I'm looking for. That worked out better than anticipated, really. Uh, wind direction was perfect, the wind was blowing this direction. We have the tree line over here, the feeder is down here. Um, it's rolled around a little bit, but then basically went up the hill. So, wind was good, we had some road noise, um, and we had some cover. I did a whack job of camoing up the Can Am in front, and then um, we were just standing for a little bit, maybe what? 30 minutes? Yeah, if that. 30 minutes, um, just scanning a little bit. I, I did most of the scanning, so we saved some battery on the Thor HD with the Kentleys in it. Um, and all of a sudden, they just walk in, so it was perfect. Yeah, we moved forward maybe 10 yards or so, and then just a little over more in the, in the center of the uh, shooting lane here, so we have a better field of view. And then one of the sows, she she picked something up. She, she was acting up, she was picking up her nose, and then things had to happen pretty quick. Uh, I was on her. Uh, she seemed, at least from my view, she seemed like the biggest one in the group. Um, we did countdown. Uh, luckily, Chris was also ready. Took a shot, put the sow down. He sh shot also a sow, right? Yes, I think so. We have three sows on the ground right now, so that should help with the population here, um, hopefully pretty quick. And uh, then I took a shot at another one. She also went down. And again, the 308. I mean, what was that, 70 yards, mm -hmm. 60 yards, 70 yards or something, we were pretty close. But the 308 uh, did a pretty good job, to the point where I don't think I can show one of these pigs, because no. it's probably not going to be a uh, very good perceived and received on the platform you're posting on. So, uh, I'm going to show you guys two of the three pigs, and maybe just the front of one of these pigs. Um, but, yeah, good, uh, good sized. Um, Let's see if I'll, I'll take some meat, uh, maybe a ham or something. I have some folks who want some meat, so I did bring some ice so we could put it in ice here pretty quick because it is still like 85 degrees or something outside. So let's drive down there real quick and uh, check out these pigs.
happy little one. <laughs> nice job, dude. Thank you. You too. We are wrapping up. It's a. Uh, 11.15 right now It's gonna take us an hour to get home We're ending up the night with uh, three sows on the ground One of them a little bigger one, but nothing really worth mentioning, but we uh, took some Backstrap and some ham for somebody who's asking for some meat uh, Anyways Good night. Uh, Chris got in the hog. He got to shoot his new 300 blackout build He's running that rugged Razor 762 in the front Love that suppressor, it's a great can, uh, size-wise, looks perfect on his rifle, it's nice and quiet, it's lightweight, even lighter than the 6-hour SRD762 Ti, um, and it's easy on your, on your wallet, so I just keep recommending that can over and over again, but the next thing for me is the, the Rugged Radiant 762. Um, I want to get one more can, at least one more can, before November hits, because who knows what's going to happen in November. So, now is the time to buy. Uh, this Thor HD worked out good. I hope he recorded. See if we have some footage on that. Happy with the CMG. It didn't jam. It worked just fine tonight. Uh, maybe it's actually getting broken in a little bit more. I'm still going to invest in that uh, adjustable gas block and gas this thing down a little bit and see if I can get it to run even smoother, but um, the initial uh, impression of that rifle in the can at first I felt the recoil was really uh, too much or you know more than uh, I think it should be for, for a uh, 308 and then also noise level wise when I shot this thing just to get the scope sighted in uh, Jin mentioned that uh, his ears were ringing uh, the next day so he was a little concerned about um, hearing safety uh, of that thing but I must say that none of these things are things I recognize or I no notice anymore so when I shoot now I l literally don't even pay attention to, I guess to the rifle anymore is it just me getting adjusted to it and not paying attention to it was it was it just like overly you know indexing on, on noise level and recoil at first because it was a new rifle I don't know maybe it's getting broken in I have now maybe what, let's say I have 20 rounds through, so nothing close to this rifle getting broken in, but that's just where I'm at. Uh, I'm not going to the range a ton, I'm basically whenever I go out shooting it's for nights like this. I don't have the time and or the luxury of having my own place and then the time, you know, away from the kids and the wife to just go out on the range and, uh, you know, spend a ton of time on that. So. Any time I get, it's basically on nights like this. So happy with the rifle. Uh, I'm gonna keep shooting it. The 38 is, is performing fa fantastically. Uh, <laughs> just tonight, those two hogs went down um, pretty quick. So it was the right choice to go with 308. Uh, still have my 300 blackout, and I just got an ATN Thor 4 uh, 3D4 2x8 in. Um, to me, that's like a perfect entry level uh, thermal from ATN. Uh, it uh, has enough base zoom to really you know, do a difference for you for, for hawk hunting. I think the 2x uh, base zoom is kind of like the minimum. I uh, like the 2.5 of the 640 on it, but 2x is good. Um, and the 384 does perform pretty good, the sensor in the, in the Thor 4. So, and on top of that, you have that internal battery and uh, long lasting battery life, which is great. So, that's my backup rifle right now. And if we take somebody out, friends and family, that's all we do. We don't of any guided hands and this kind of stuff. It's not our business, but I like taking out friends. I like taking out neighbors. Um, one of our neighbor, he's in law enforcement and uh, especially right now in the current time where I, say, I think basically we're living in an upside down world. Um, I wanna show my support uh, for these guys. They don't have it easy and uh, people need to be more appreciative of what law enforcement does. I don't think a lot of people really get that. So. I want to give back to the community and hopefully uh, he and I get to connect here pretty quick and I can take him out and get him some hogs and uh, get him to uh, to put some some hogs on the ground and have some fun with the thermos. So anyways, I appreciate you guys tuning in again. Uh, this was Texas Yacht. Uh, three hogs on the ground. We had a good night. It was fun. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.